media to discovery, 100% of the interest in a pro-rated distribution. AT&T shareholders will get 0.24 shares of uh, Warner Media Discovery for every share of AT&T they own. That means AT&T shareholders are going to get stock representing 71% of the new company. Warner Brothers Discovery will own 29% of the, the new company. Uh, the deal is expected to close in the second quarter of 2022 and maybe some of the new news here AT&T's board approved a post-closed annual dividend of a dollar and 11 cents a share. Now the company goes on to point out that this is expected to be among the higher dividend yields in corporate America, but there have been a lot of questions about this because the yield is coming down substantially as they're spinning off a big part of the company. Um, and that's been the question. This uh, stock was yielding 8.16%. It was paying a quarterly dividend of 52 cents up to this point. New dividend that they're saying annually will be there is a dollar and 11 cents a share. Um, I did speak with C CFO of the company, Pascal De Roche, and he was just talking about what this means. This is what they're hoping to do with this is make sure that this puts the company in a very healthy position to continue to pay down debt, um, which obviously they've needed to do for a while. The debt there is still running north of $160 billion. I think it's mid $160 billion. Post separation, that will come down substantially because as part of the separation, they're getting $43 billion in cash. I think they are expecting debt to get down to the mid $120 billion after the transaction with all of this. But the big question for retail investors has been, what will happen to the dividend? You can see the stock off by about 1.6% right now. Uh, the company says that by keeping the dividend at $1.11, that will allow them to make sure that they are continuing to fund the company. They've got CapEx that they're planning on spending of about $24 billion and continue to delever and pay down some of this debt. So I think that's very important for what they've been doing. It's a big part of the story. Retail investors, obviously, uh, the, the ones who are there in the stock have flocked to this because of the high yield that it pays. Uh, again, it was north of 8%. I think with this, they're anticipating that the yield would be around 6%. Um, still an incredibly high yielder when you compare it with the likes of Verizon, which pays about a 4.76%. Uh, T-Mobile and Turner don't pay, a, uh, don't pay out a yield. Comcast pays a yield of about 2.2%. Um, but this has been something that people have been watching really closely and kind of wondering what would happen with this when they do this uh, what, this uh, sale of the company, the sale of a spinoff of that portion of the company. Um, I think they looked at this and they wanted to make sure that it was done this way because they thought it was a retail investor, their own decision on what they would do with this. If you want to keep your stock well in both well. companies, you can do that. If you want to sell Warner Brothers Discovery and put it back into AT&T to get yielders or do something else with it, they just thought that it gave more flexibility. And Andrew, I think there was some concern that if they did it differently, if they did this with a, a with just a spin, if they did it that way, they could face some technical difficulties and it would require significant discount of ownership and it would give room for the ARBs to come in. And I, I think they thought there were going to be a leak of about $5 billion if they did that and they didn't want to do it. What, what kind of conversation do you think they've had over the years now about the dividend? Because there has been a question about about continuing to invest in the business on a relative basis yeah. to perhaps the way Verizon or T-Mobile Sprint has done it. In terms of where they are in the pecking order. Sorry for this. Clearly over the last mm -hmm. several years, they've gone um, around. Difficulty, so just please stand by for a few moments here. It's it's them. We want to be able to spend not even more, or is the important piece of this the dividend for those retail investors? You know, that, that's a good question. I, I think the company's going to be spending the day today um, explaining this to investors um, and, and kind of getting the story out and seeing what they think about these things, telling them the reasoning for why they're doing this. Um, I, but the CapEx, I mean, AT&T for a long time was the biggest CapEx spender of any company in America. They spent more on investing back in. I don't know that they're number one at this point, but they are, are still talking about some pretty significant expenditures, 24 billion. You know, they're not gonna have to spend on content because that will be Warner Brothers Discovery that's spending on the content there. But you do have to spend a lot when you're in this business to make sure that you are kind of keeping the network up um, and spending right. on the future for those things. So I, I think they, they consider that a pretty important priority. But obviously the dividend is a big priority too because of the retail base of shareholders and what those retail investors kind of expect. They expect a high dividend payout.